Hey, good weekend to you. Welcome to Leading Edge. I'm Jerry Anderson, and the guy right next to me in that box right next door has been right in the thick of where we are starting today, and that is something we've been on on the show, and we're not going to back down uh, from here. Um, this is State Senator Rob McCauley, Republican from right here in our area, Napoleon, um, and he is the guy who really authored the bill that redrew or redraw is Ohio's congressional districts. Good to have you in, Senator. We've been talking about this on the show. So it's your bill, Senate Bill 258, that finally passed in your chamber, uh, again, sadly to say, along strict party line uh, lines. The detractors say when it's all said and done, this map could lead to 13 Republican seats out of 15. That's what we have now going forward. Some 87% of the seats. When Republicans over years in statewide elections poll eh, 55%, very impressive percent of the vote. So what about that sounds fair to you? Well, to me that it's been trying to be framed in such a manner that is the worst case scenario. Really what we looked at when we came up with these maps was creating a plurality of the districts that are competitive. And that's what we we really looked at uh, the, the election in 2018 and, and what the voters expected out of that is that they've gotten tired of districts being so polarized in one direction or the other and no districts really being up for grabs in any given election. And so we decided to make a conscious effort with this to draw a, a, uh, a map that has six districts that would lean Republican, seven districts that would be legitimately competitive districts. And that means they're between 46 and 54 percent on the on the Republican index, if you will, oh, and then two uh, districts that would lean uh, lean Democrat. And so what that really translates to is that in these districts, um, of course, in all the districts, this is going to be the key. But especially in these districts that are tight around the 50 percent mark, um, they're going to have to be responsive to the issues of the day. And okay, then but, 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 but in terms of the districts, you would expect to go one way or the other. You came up with six Republican, two Democrat, and you think that meets congressional or constitutional constitutional muster of what the what the voters said in 2018, representative of the state vote. Well, here's one thing to keep in mind. Article okay. 11 of the Constitution having to do with state legislative districts does talk about trying to match it up with the voting preferences of Ohio over the last 10 years. Article 19 of the Constitution dealing with congressional redistricting does not have that. What it does have in the case of a four-year map, um, which is unfortunately what it seems like we are headed to, is language that says we have to put a map in place that does not unduly favor or disfavor one party or its opponents. And so in that context, the way we, the way we remedy that in our eyes is to make a plurality of the districts, um, a plurality of the districts competitive that way, depending on the year, we could have a majority of our delegation from the Democrat Party, or we could have a majority of our delegation from the Republican Party. I read, I want to be careful if this is a quote, it's going to be really close, where you said, hey, if in a given year, Democrats have a good year, they could get nine seats. That would be the majority of our 15-seat delegation. So in a good year, Democrats could get nine seats. In a good year, Republicans could get 13. I, I would say that would have to have an awful lot of dominoes to fall into place uh, when it comes down to it. But one thing you have to keep in mind when we're drawing these districts, there, excuse me, there are other things that we have to keep in mind uh, as far as the constitution of the districts. So Cleveland cannot be split. Cleveland is not split. Um, uh, Cincinnati cannot be split. And so when you're talking about drawing more districts that would be safe Democrat uh, districts, with the concentration of votes in the state that are uh, most heavily concentrated in our big cities, it's not as easy to draw districts that would be solidly Democrat one way or another without sacrificing those competitive districts. And right. so our attitude was having more competitive districts than anything. Rob McCall is my guest, a Republican state senator out of Napoleon. Your map did keep most of Ohio's big cities whole, and that was a goal. It does slice counties. You've alluded to that, like Hamilton and Cuyahoga, three ways and in ways that your opponents say divides people of color and divides Democrats. Why did you guys, if I'm reading it right, Rob, did you not even consider race when dividing people of color and tossing them into larger white districts tends to lessen, if not silence, their vote? Well, the, the true answer to that is it's against federal law. So when you look at the Supreme Court precedent, particularly 
um, several cases concerning the Voter Rights Act. It essentially says the only way you can use race in drawing districts is that if you have legally significant racially polarized voting. Now, what does that mean? That means that you have to have proof, not just a speculation, but you have to have proof that A, a majority uh, minority district of one race can be drawn, which I don't even know if that's possible in the state of Ohio. So it may fail on that first factor, but that a majority minority district of one race can be drawn um, and that there is polarized voting, meaning that the, the white people living around that minority are voting against that minority party's candidates. And we don't have any evidence of that either in the state of Ohio. And so the Supreme Court has said that if we were to use race in the absence of that evidence, we would be violating federal law. Uh, he's Rob McCullough. I need to take a break. I, I have one more thing on redistricting. And then, of course, Rob, if I get you, and I am, I don't think I've bothered you since last December, uh, I always like to run a couple of other Columbus or statewide things past if I can. This is Leading Edge. We're back right after.